When I'm worried and I can't sleep, I count my blessings instead of sheep. I fall asleep counting my blessings. When my bankroll is getting small, I think of when I have none at all. I fall asleep counting my blessings. I think about a nursery and I picture curly heads. And one by one I count them as they slumber in their beds. If you're worried and you can't sleep, just count your blessings instead of sheep, and you'll fall asleep, counting your blessings. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the 13th Annual Swenson Family Holiday Video. We're so glad that you're joining us again this year for our annual holiday tradition. But while you're here, try to keep your voice down. We just got Olivia to sleep. It's true. It was a year of big changes and many blessings for our family. Just before Thanksgiving last year, we were thrilled to learn that Sarah was pregnant. It was hard to keep that news a secret. We were so excited to tell our family and friends. But it wasn't long before it was obvious that our family of two would soon become a family of three. Nine months seemed to go fast and slow all at once. We worked hard to get the house and nursery ready, and we were grateful to have the opportunity to take a short baby moon up the Gunflint Trail for our second wedding anniversary in May. Being pregnant during one of the hottest summers on record had its ups and downs. So we were grateful as ever to live next to the Minnehaha Creek and for the modern convenience of air conditioning. Olivia Joan Swenson joined our family on July 21st and we were overjoyed to welcome her home. Her loving grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins have welcomed her into the family with open arms. The last five months have been an incredible journey. Late nights, early mornings, and countless moments of unforgettable memories we've made together. During my maternity leave and Matt's paternity leave, we've gone for walks and runs along the creek almost every day. Olivia has experienced the joys of conference calls, backyard family gatherings, books, and bath time. And she's fully embraced the holidays from Halloween to Thanksgiving and now Christmas. Like a true Minnesotan, Olivia loves the great outdoors, no matter the weather. And she's already been to six Minnesota state parks. We feel so blessed every day to have Olivia Joan in our lives. We can't wait to see who she grows up to be. But for now, we're taking every new adventure and milestone as it comes and soaking in every minute. We aren't taking a moment for granted. And to be honest, we're quickly running out of photo storage. And we were grateful this year to spend even more time with our families, including our six nephews, Dominic, Robbie, Peter, Johnny, Joseph, and Xavier are all growing up to be fun, kind, adventurous boys. We love them all very much. The pandemic has continued to present challenges for our family and friends, in our work, and in our everyday lives, but we're grateful for progress and hopeful for still more in the months ahead. And we look forward to the time and joy we'll share together with friends and loved ones in the new year. We know there will still be some challenging days, but in this season of perpetual hope, we're going to keep counting our blessings instead of sheep. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy New Year to you and yours this holiday season. And we'll leave you now as we have so many times before with the words of the old Swedish blessing. May the ruts always fit the wheels on your pickup. May your earmuffs always keep out the north wind. May the sun shine warm on your lefse. May the rain fall soft on your lutefisk. And until we meet again, may the good Lord protect you from any and all unnecessary oof does. <laughs>